I just, you know, I just, I just want to show proof that I tried to, uh, to, uh, yeah, film at the sink doing my hair. There's water on the floor. My shirt is completely soaked. I'm just showing y'all proof that I tried. I, I, I tried. Uh, I, just trust me when I tell you I rinsed it out, okay? I rinsed it. I rinsed it off. It's funny. It's, it's early, y'all, but we're going to get through this, okay? I know I'm looking crazy. It's for a reason. So, it's Sunday. It's early in the morning, and Sundays are usually my cleanup days and hair routine days. So, if you hear the washer rumbling in the other room, that's what's going on. If you hear hissing or stuff here and there is because I got stuff going on okay so just letting y'all know because I'm not gonna edit any of that out because as I know editing is something crazy so um I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and tell y'all while I'm looking crazy and what I'm doing so I got a few DMs um and I don't know why some of y'all don't message me on YouTube it's like y'all are shy um but I got a few messages saying can you do a video of your hair routine you know i post on instagram all these photos of wigs that i cut style do whatever and people are like what about your real hair what about your whatever so i would tag them or or send them the link where i'm like hey you know i do have protein um routine videos that you can look at and to give you an idea of how I do my hair. And I guess that wasn't enough. So um, for many of you that follow the hair growth journey, um, my goal is to be waist length in two years, which is a realistic goal, seeing how your hair only grows so much a month, right? So what I'm doing now, as you can see, there's dry gel in here. I use wigs as um, protective styles. Some use twists, some use um, braids or whatever the case may be, crochet. I use wigs because I think wigs, I can always change them. If I change my mind, I can do synthetic, I can do front lace, I can do full lace. It's just whatever your cup of tea is, right? So I got dry gel and maybe makeup where I wanted to put a little makeup along the hairline to make it look a little bit more realistic but I literally either flat twist or braid pieces of hair and I put them up in a ponytail and I wear the wig that's what I do and um this is month old you know moisturizer or moisturizer putting stuff in and all I'm doing is just taking those pins out when I have on a synthetic wig y'all I take it off at night you want your edges you want your length so I take it down at night I moisturize my scalp I wrap it up put it in a little clip and put a bun or put a bonnet on so I can keep my moisture now, when you don't want to take it off and you braid your hair down or you, you know, twist do twist downs or whatever, you have to think of it as you are preparing your hair to not be touched, to be moisturized, to be covered, to just be sheltered until you take the wig down or until you take, you know, your synthetic wig, full lace, front lace wig off. So I wanted to show you guys, um, this is the hair dirty, you know, ready to be washed. And I wanted you to, I wanted to show you guys the length and the process. Um, it's dry, it needs to be combed and all that good stuff. But 
the length is past um, bra strap length. I mean, I'm way down there. Um, but you have to keep a healthy hair routine. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. So I've had this up for a little bit over a month. And the first thing that I do is I do co-washing. Now, a lot of people think that with co-washing, it's not, how is that clean? But a lot of the cleaning agents in stainless shampoo is in conditioner. Um, depending on the brands that you use, it's weird how the conditioner is always a little bit more expensive. When you have facial washes, the facial washes and the moisturizer is always way more expensive. Why is that? Because you're leaving that product on your skin, on your hair, longer than the shampoo. Now, in this instance where I have a lot of dry gel around the perimeter here, I would usually go in with a little shampoo to loosen it up. But it's just gel and it's just um, hairspray, um, which can easily melt down and can be taken care of with a little water. You can use, do not spend a lot of money on um, getting your co-wash ready. In other words, getting your hair loosened so you can untangle these twists or braids just to get your hair going because it not only does it save on water but you save on product depending on the length and thickness of your hair so i always get suave the cheap stuff um when i'm doing a co-wash because these are really cheap at walmart target online whatever and I use, when I get expensive stuff, which is this Giovanni's uh, conditioner, it has tea tree oil, a lot of things where you can actually feel it enticing the hair follicle. I use this when I am, it's been a while, I've had my hair for a while, and I want it to get deep, deep in there to just start loosening up that oil and loosening up those products. And I'm so happy that it has this pump. Um, on here. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna start pumping out a lot of this conditioner and then you will see me speed that up so you don't have to be bored uh, with that process. But I'm gonna go ahead and start putting that um, on my scalp and we're gonna start to break down hairspray, a little bit of makeup that's on my hair and scalp and we're gonna go from there and use a lot. Do not skimp on conditioner put it on there because your hair is just going to drink it up you guys so i'm gonna fast forward this part is also an important part that you should put in your routine is giving yourself a scalp massage your hair has been untouched it's been twisted it's been sitting there and nothing to kind of entice it or whatever right so we got the conditioner in there don't worry too much of putting a lot on the ends um, because the more we work that conditioner through and the more that we put on here, it will go down. But the most important part are the roots and making sure that you use the palms of your fingertips. And we are going to massage our scalp. And take your time, whatever your wash day is, whenever your wash day is, this reminds me of perm, oh my goodness. Um, just make sure to massage everywhere and don't get too crazy with it because you do have curls and curls lock on each other like this so when you have a moisturizer on there and something with a good slippage you are relaxing those curls just a little bit just so they can they can exist and hold on each other and curl back but they're not all tangled you know i know that was a weird um example um, but scientifically, if you were to look under a microscope, that's what's happening when you have tangles. When I show you that I'm not gonna have a lot of breakage 
um, as I'm combing, that's what it should look like. Now, keep in mind that when you take down your hair and you're combing through, that you see a lot of hair, don't think that's your hair falling out. That is all the hair that didn't get to shed because it's just been in this twist or in that braid or you've had braids or you've had extensions or a sew-in. It hasn't had the chance to shed and come out. So when I show you that process of um, after I untwist everything and start to do a comb out, you'll see all that hair. Don't panic. Now, if you've only had your hair up a week and you start to detangle and you notice a lot of hair, then that's different things that we, we need to pay attention to. You probably got a lot of breakage going on. You probably had a lot of harshness rubbing against your skin. And also it's something that you might wanna to talk to your dermatologist about because you might be uh, experiencing hair loss. And that's something that's completely different, okay? So I'm just gonna keep giving myself a good scalp massage and then I'll continue uh, to show you the next part. After we've done a nice scalp massage, we're gonna rinse and we're gonna do a nice detangle and then I'm gonna retwist and put my hair back up because this is my protective style of choice which are different types of wigs, okay? Okay, so I wanna show you the detangling process. Now your hair is curly, I did a twist, and then when I got towards the end, I just wrapped it around my finger. I did not twist it all the way to the end because when you unravel, it's a little bit more difficult to take that out. But I wanted to show you how easy it is just to unconnect those bottom pieces because some people pull it and pop and you're pulling and popping off length. So you don't wanna do that. So I'm just gently with a little bit of that conditioner that has come down with the scalp, scalp massage and I am just gently untangling. Now you may see a little bit of a resistance um, in between that twist. Well, it's been in this twist for over a month. So there's a little bit of slight, I guess you can say matting or, or tangling, but at the root, you see how all those curls have connected and they've gotten super tight on each other. That's not what we want. We don't want to start a locking process. We want to make sure that we're keeping that hair and telling that hair, okay, we're not locking up, okay? So you want to start to take that out and take your time. And this is when we're seeing the length start to show and the thickness here. And you want to be gentle because when your hair is wet, I hope I'm not rubbing up against the microphone. When your hair is wet, it's, 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 I wouldn't say fragile, but you want to take care of your hair when it's wet. You don't want to yank and, and, and pull because these are curls and you want to take your time. So as you can see the fullness and now the hair is like, oh, we can breathe. We're not on each other. But look, I haven't done any detangling. Okay, I haven't done a finger through the tangle. I haven't added more conditioner. I haven't even used a tool to undetangle my hair. So this, I'm showing you how important it is to do the, the process that I do so you don't have any tangling. You don't have any matting that stays and it's hard for you to, to, to comb or to, or to um, start to get those, those hairs to come out. But I'm barely just, just I'm just showing you right and we don't have any damage on our curls even though the hair had hairspray and oil and all that it's super soft and there hasn't been any any issues with that cold washing and protecting your hair while it's under a wig or braids is so important because we want to retain this length the ends of course you see this side that's some of the shedding that i'm talking about the shedding of the hair that has not been able to come out. Don't freak out. Don't panic when you see that, okay? So we're not gonna do any detangling yet. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna un, un uh, twist all of the little twisties I have, okay?
okay so that's one side <laughs> as you notice I haven't used any water I haven't used any water I haven't used any combs and we're almost detangled that was just with a little little pre something okay we haven't even got to that part now I'm going super slow this usually doesn't take me that long to detangle and to do my hair y'all but I'm trying to go slow um, to show y'all that this process detangling and I want you to feel comfortable with your natural hair I don't want you to get frustrated with taking care of your natural hair and when I do my natural hair it's easy peasy why because we're not getting it to the point where your hair is so tangled that you're frustrated and you just want to go get a perm and you want to cut it off if you have your hair in a certain way to where you're preventing tangles you're gonna be calm cool calm collected and, and good with what's going on with your head okay so we got that side you see how that hair is just drank all that up i ain't even added water to this okay natural hair loves moisture natural hair loves water and we haven't even added that okay we just did that to gently untangle all of our twists that's all we did okay that's what that first part was for was just to get everything loosened up so we're not pulling and popping our, our, our beautiful crown okay now i'm gonna do this other side okay so now we got this side detangled meaning untwisted not thoroughly going through the root and detangling now when we detangle this is going to sound strange but this is where we retain a lot of the growth we're not going to detangle meaning comb from root down all the way to the root getting everything nice and detangled from the root until after that's right after we have rinsed out all the, con the de conditioner okay so we're gonna need more now because we only added an, enough conditioner to un, untangle the twist, undo the twist. But now we're going to get credit. This is why I said don't, don't buy expensive conditioner. Because this is where we need to step in and use a lot. And now we're going to get it all over the hair and all over the scalp. So this is when we go a little crazy. <laughs> okay? Don't be afraid to use a lot because we need to saturate. <laughs> We need to saturate from root to end and get in all the condition on there. Cause now that now that we have those things untwisted, right? The twist undone, now we really want to go in and let the conditioner do its work. Now you saw how much conditioner I just put up there. My hair is already drinking that up. If you got cheap stuff, you really don't care that you're using a lot. Okay? Look at that. I'm using a lot because I want that to really get on the hair. And I want that all the way to the to the end as well. Now we're starting to see a lot of the length. We're starting to see the hair loosen up and it's getting longer, right? Because now a lot of those curls were like this intense because we didn't we wasn't getting to the root. We wasn't getting to the root of the, the, the grudo. I know it don't make no sense. But anyway, but you see now we're getting even more length to the hair. Because it was like here. So really, really, really pack this on. Get the little 99, get the little two dollar stuff. Okay? You can use the expensive stuff as a leave-in conditioner. That's what I do. That's what I'm going to show you in a minute, okay? So now that we got it untwisted, now that we've, let's go over the steps, okay? You remember? The first step was just putting on a little pre-pool, meaning just getting conditioner to loosen up the hair. Because doing work on dry, natural hair, when people pull and they comb and they got this big wide hair because it's dry and everything's locked up all of the hairs are locked up on each other so we put the conditioner on to tell the hair we're going to relax a little bit and little those curls kind of just you know start to unhand a little bit they're still curly but they're not all tangled up so we added that to the scalp and we added a little bit of that to the twist or your braid or whatever you choose to get everything to unravel not a lot you don't want to use a lot you just want a little bit Okay, after that, 
we gave ourselves a nice scalp massage. And you can still give yourself a nice scalp massage as you're putting on conditioner. Now we want it on all the hair. We don't just want it on the root. We want more of that gel. Look at all of that. We want more of that makeup that was in the little got to be gelled or whatever you use on your scalp to, to the, the um, wig cap to keep it down. We want this scalp clean, okay? And that scalp is getting clean, my friends. We have not even introduced water. Look at that. We are slowly, don't focus on right now getting all of the tangles out because we are gonna work on those tangles after. And I know you're saying, girl, isn't the conditioner used to loosen up the hair? Why wouldn't you comb right now with the conditioner on? The more product that you have on the hair and you're trying to comb through, you are creating microscopically a curly like mess, okay? So now we're starting to see the length because now they are slowly starting to be independent curls and they're loosening up a little bit. When it's a conditioner and we rinse this out, the product is still in the hair, it's still in the hair, meaning that its essence is still there. So it will actually be easy for us to detangle our hair with a wide tooth comb. I recommend a wide tooth comb and not a denim brush just yet, okay? So I'm just massaging, getting that conditioner in there. Now we are seeing the true length of the hair and it's getting longer and longer the more that I work in this conditioner. And I'm gonna leave this conditioner in my head for about five minutes. Clean up, you know, watch a little TV, do whatever. You can leave it in there for 20 minutes, whatever your cup of tea is. But look, it's still getting longer. <laughs> it's still growing because I'm the oil is breaking down, right? And the curls are chilling out. Now I'm showing, now I'm uh, seeing the true length of my hair, which is past bra strap length, okay? Now look at that. Look at all this hair. We had not even got the comb yet. Look at all that. Do not freak out. This is hair, once again, that has been in here chilling, that hasn't been combed. It hasn't been able to shed. It's been over a month. This is, say with me, normal, okay? You're okay, this is normal, okay? I am going to wash this out one side at a time. So there's not all this stuff going on and I'm dropping stuff and I'm getting frustrated and I'm getting tangles. That is how you'll have growth and that is how you will feel more relaxed when washing your hair. That it's not this big mess and you're shampooing it and it's just you got tangles and it's all over the place. Uh, I do recommend you putting a towel over your shoulders. I just didn't want the towel in my way. This is a shirt that I, you know, always throw on when I'm cleaning up or doing my hair, okay? So I put all that on one side. When I get to my water source, whether you do your hair in the sink or the shower, do one side at a time. Finger detangle, get all the dirt out, wash one side, squeeze out that excess water, put it up. Then you're going to move to that other side and you're gonna rinse, and you're gonna let that water go through, and you're gonna squeeze that water out, and then you're gonna put your hair in a clip. You can do three sections, you can do four sections, you can do as many sections as you, however many of these you can get in, in there, in the shower or in the sink, feel free to do it. The point is to do it to where however many sections make you comfortable. Since I'm used to this routine, it has worked for me, I'm used to working with two. When I get to the detangle process, I'll use more of these because the smaller sections that you go in, the more comfortable that you feel when you're doing your hair. After I rinse it out and it's been rinsed out and there's no product in my hair at all, I'm gonna show you how easy it's going to be to detangle my hair. And I have a lot of, I know it's a lot of uh, matting that's going, look, that's going on up in here, okay? But I'm gonna show you how easy it is to comb everything out. We will have more hair that's gonna come out. That's normal, just like when you take down braids or whatever, it is normal. Get in your hair that it is okay, it is normal. After I rinse, we're gonna go through the detangle process. After the detangling process, I'm, I'm gonna show you what I do for moisture to lock in the product. And then after that, 
nothing else. I can just let the hair just chill and grow. All right? It's all coming up next. I just, you know, I just, I just want to show proof that I tried to, uh, to, uh, yeah, film at the sink doing my hair. There's water on the floor. My shirt is completely soaked. I'm just showing y'all proof that I tried. I, I, try, I tried. Uh, I, I, just trust me when I tell you I rinsed it out, okay? I rinsed it. I rinsed it off. Trust me when I tell you I rinsed it, all right? I got water all on the floor the whole time I'm thinking I'm getting it on the back of my head on the bike. I was getting it all on the flow, getting it all over the flow, on the flow. Got water conditioner on the flow. I love y'all. I'm just showing y'all proof that I try. Look at this shirt. Look at me. Child. I should have just did it in the shower. Like I thought. I, 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 let me. We just gonna. I just wanted to give y'all proof that I tried to film this and uh, failed. But basically, what you what you, what you want to do is you want to rinse it. You rinse, <laughs> you rinse out the conditioner. You make sure that the scalp is clean. And I wanted to show y'all with that process, we haven't even done anything yet that the hair is clean. Okay, curls are starting to come back. We got healthy hair growth. I failed at filming, and I knew I was gonna fail at filming, but I just wanted to just show y'all that I tried. Cause I knew somebody was gonna ask me, can you film it? Well, I will just show y'all how much water is on this floor. This whole time I thought I was getting water on the back of my head and I was really just making it rain on the floor. So y'all, let me mop up this water real quick. Lord have mercy. And get back to the video. We gonna get to the detangling part, all right? Okay, I don't know if you noticed, but I changed shirts. Child, I done been to Chipotle, done ate and came back, child. But just to show you, it dried at like this, just like this, when I just rinsed out the conditioner. There's no other product in here, and the curls is popping. When you get your hair on a routine of co-washing and having a healthy routine where your hair is not all tangled up, we haven't done anything to this hair, okay? I had a little step set back with the, with the, rinsing, with the rinsing part, but I'm gonna show y'all what's next, child. I had to stop, finish them clothes and the washer and do all of that. But basically the next step is I'm gonna re-wet my hair in sections and I'm going to apply I'm going to reapply some cheap conditioner as a leave-in conditioner. And I'm going to twist my hair, put it back in a ponytail, uh, wait for it to dry, right? I'm going to let it air dry, walk around the house with the twist and everything. And I'm going to put it in a rubber bind, pin it up. A fresh rubber band. Make sure you use a new one, clean, ready to go. We starting over. Don't use any old hair pins or rubber bands. All right. You want to get a fresh new one. So um, just to just to you know recap, I'm going to re-wet my hair. I'm gonna put some water. I'm gonna do the steps, but I'm just telling you what's next. I'm gonna put some water and a few drops. Or whatever oil you got. I got this coconut and sweet almond. This little stuff that I found in Marshalls a long time ago. Don't be spending a lot of money on these products, y'all. Okay? Don't be spending eighty dollars on. Just, trust me. Okay? We haven't added any product, and it looked like I got something on here to make the curls pop. That was just me rinsing out the conditioner. Okay? So I'm just gonna put the hair in sections. Okay? You guys, re-wet the hair by adding a little water, warm water, and a few drops of oil so that as it dries, it can lock into the hair, okay? And I'm gonna reapply that. Oh, with some water over here from last time. I don't like that, I love that. 
<laughs> it's been a long day, <laughs> so I'm just gonna re-wet it and all that stuff. And then I'm, I'm gonna put like a little bit, not a lot, I'm gonna put a little bit like fingertips and apply it to that wet section, twist it, grab another piece of hair, twist it. Um, and we are gonna detangle as we go with the comb, okay? So we are gonna still have some chest, some hair that needs to come out. So there will be more hair that sheds because this is like starting again, a new cycle of re-detangling the hair, getting it right for another month of putting on some wigs, okay? So that's what's next. Okay, so here I'm just showing a video that I posted about eight months ago where I take the very, very back of my hair, like the nape area, and I put the measuring tape starting with the one inch mark at the very top of that nape area and I measure it. Now in this video, I was barely making it to about 16 inches. It took me like two tries to try to get it, but I just kind of pulled the hair all the way down until it reached about 16 or 16.5, but let's just say 16 um, because I had to pull it. Now, I'm doing the same thing with the very shortest part of my hair. Now, the longest part is 26 inches, but I am from that nape area going all the way down to 19. And it's 19, but that kind of slipped out of my fingers a little bit. Um, so I just said 19 to 20. So what I'm doing is with all of my hair, I am spraying it down with water just a little bit, just to get a little damp, not, not you know, just soaking, but I get a little bit of the conditioner, about a quarter size, and I put it in that section because I'm treating this as my leave-in conditioner. Not so much to where it's just goopy and it's all this conditioner, but just to saturate the hair. Now, it's really important that you start from the bottom and then work your way up slowly because with curls, you wanna start with where the loop begins, right? So we are starting with that bottom part. If you do know, if you notice a lot of resistance, add more water because natural hair loves moisture. Add a little bit more conditioner. Don't pull, take your time. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gently tapping out those tangles and I'm barely using any force with my hand. I'm just tapping, tapping, and working my way up and pulling down lightly. Like I'm showing you, I'm barely using force on the comb, and you wanna just slowly, as you go up, tap, tap, tap some of those tangles, and you, I noticed that it was a little dry right there from when I after I ate and stuff like that. And as you can see, when I added more water and went through even smoother, make sure you get to the roots and you get all of those tangles out because you don't want any matting. You don't want your hair to mat along the roots. And I'm showing you that with two fingers, I'm barely using two fingers and I'm raking that comb through there, okay? So you wanna make sure you're not pulling. You wanna start from the bottom and slowly work your way up to the roots. So it's very important that you comb through the roots. And don't be afraid, take your time. And I'm just showing how I'm just twisting the hair all the way to a certain point and I'm not twisting all the way down to the bottom because when we take this back down in one week or one month we don't want tangling at the bottom so as I get closer to the bottom about that much hair maybe about half an inch of hair and instead of twisting it all the way to the end we are just going to wrap it kind of this wrapping technique to where we just want it to curl up on itself okay so that was a little bit too much hair so i'm just gonna twist a little bit more and just start to wrap it i want my natural curl just to loop um along itself here and i'm gonna do a close-up see we just want that to do its natural curl at the bottom now you can add a little bit more conditioner or water to get it to loop like this okay because we don't want to twist that all the way to the end because that will be more difficult in the future to untangle now i'm going to do this same process to all 
the pieces all along my hair and I'm gonna make big chunks. So I'm just showing you how well moisturized, we want a nice juicy twist. We don't want it dry and we don't want anything to not be combed out. So that's it. I'm gonna do that to the rest of my hair. Do as many as you like. I choose to uh, do kind of like big chunks and I'm showing you that, hey, that was just for one section and look at that hair, okay? That's hair that needed to shed, that's okay. So now I'm showing you the big chunks. Don't have to be perfect um, parts. I'm using Blue Magic Coconut Oil. What I did was I made sure to moisturize. I use a very thin layer of coconut oil and just kind of spread it throughout the head. I'm just showing you what I did in all of the part areas. And what I do is to prevent rubbing or anything I use, you can use any type of gel, but what I had was this Eco Styler gel. I usually use the olive oil one. Some people have their own thing about gel, use whatever. And I'm using a nice ample amount all along my edges, anywhere where the wig cap or wig may rub against my head. Now, the good thing about this gel is that when it dries, it's not crusty or hard. It kind of gives you this protective layer between any got to be gel or glue you use. It's like this barrier. And I use that all along the edges and all on the top of my head here. And I use a good ample amount. Now with this gel, I don't go, I don't have any flaking or anything because I moisturize my hair and my scalp. If you are getting flaking after a few days or a week, then I would recommend another product. Now I'm showing you my, my uh, beret here. We cap, uh, cap that I use at net. I'm putting my hair in that my beret here. I'm going to France and getting sexy for you, huh? I put that, that in there, I'm stuffing my hair. Now, I usually put this on my hair after. <laughs> after it's dry, but I'm just showing you what I do. <laughs> uh, yes, I feel so magnificent. <laughs> and that's so funny because I'm making myself laugh, like, and I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> As I'm doing the voiceover, I'm so goofy. Oh, yes, I feel like I want to paint a picture off of you blading your hair and moisturizing it's so beautiful you are oh yes <laughs> bye y'all let me know what you think peace